All right, so we are here uh, in a Tim Hortons talking with Chris Boucher of Custom Fitness. How are we doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. Good. So this is not a health episode because this podcast is for creatives, but you have uh, cartoon books. But tell us what you do now. You Right now, let's tell us about Custom Fitness. Well, in Custom Fitness, I do personal in-home fitness training. And I either I go to my client's house or they would come over to my uh, private studio. Okay. And how long have you been doing that? About 28 years. You're a pretty fit guy. Yeah, you'd be all right. You're all right. So, so we're just looking at your comic books. What you got in the cartoon? Um, it's kind of like a, a stress relief, something to do other than something totally opposite to, to fitness. Just to sit down, take your mind off it, and I just like the creativity of it. So what did you require? What do you got here? Show me. You got three of them here. What are these here? So you got one. Uh, what what do you what do I want to be? So this is for kids on figuring out what they want to be. It is. It's uh, ages about four to six, and basically the drawing is to uh, just have an example of what they want to be. Either a mechanic, a magician. If they want to be a hairdresser, a gardener. You know, just all the different types of professions, and they can color it through. And at the end. If they figure out what they want to do, they can do their own little drawing of their own. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. So what, what made you think about doing that? Did you struggle with what you wanted to be? I guess just like everybody, nobody really knows what they want to be as a kid, right? So <laughs> uh, I had the opportunity of going to uh, cartooning school, and I took a course, and then I got hooked on cartooning at that point, and then I just designed these guys up and went from there. So how long have you been drawing these characters? About 30 years. 30 years? Okay. You're only what? <laughs> Chris keeps telling me how old he is, and like none of this math is working out right. So, so thirty years. So, so how many books have you got out all the time? I have four different books, um, stickers as well as personalized placemats. Okay, cool. So, where do you sell these? Where, who buys these? Uh, family, friends. I have the website gibberling.ca, and it's just through word of mouth mainly right now. Okay, and where would you like to take this to? Where, you, I mean, this this is costly. You got these looking pretty professional. So, you want these to go into stores, or where do you want to go? I would love to get them into yeah different stores, like the the children's sections or schools or just daycares, that type of thing. How it, what inspired you to get into cartooning? Was there a certain person, certain artist that got you into that? Well, the cartooning course that I took. Um, it was, I can't remember his name because it, it was so long ago, uh, but it was the artist for the raccoons. Okay. He was the, the teacher of the course and through doing all the stuff that he got us to do, uh, it inspired me to want to just keep going. Oh, and so 30 years later, you're drawing cartoons and you got it out for kids. What got you into doing it for young kids? What, what, what made you go to do that? I just like the innocence of the little kids who their mind is so open that they'll color almost anything, yeah. right? And if I can influence them in just their hand-eye coordination, their keep their imagination going, just give them something to do instead of, you know, instead of touching on a, a screen, if they can actually, you know, flip a page and, and get the hands, you know, their hands moving, their eyes, their brain, like that type of thing, it's all good. Were you a good colorer? Of course. Of course I was. I don't know. I colored outside the lines. I was terrible at it. Well, I made my own lines to color, so so it's all good. That's the way to do it. So these are, these look pretty good. You, so you got one on on uh, jobs, and then this one here is about learning learning the alphabet, is it? Yeah, it's a little activity book, uh, ABC. So depending on what uh, the Gibberling have, um, they have their own diggers, they have their own flyers, they have their own types of trees, machines, all that. So it's an introduction to their world and what they use and using the alphabet to do so. And then you also get to draw your own. And then there's word searches. Uh, you get to trace the words down, so you get to learn um, how to print. Cool. So t we don't need teachers anymore. <laughs> so, so you've got a, a certain character that seems to be running through this. What, what inspired that character? I wish I could remember. It was so long ago. Um, I just I wanted something that was nice and cute and uh, easy at the time. Thirty years ago, when I was six. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, I just wanted something nice and easy to draw at the time, and then it just expanded to everything that they have with different scooters, different type, their type of cars, their world, and then it just expanded from there. Wow, that's cool. That's cool. So, coloring books, you thought is a good good way for kids. Uh, so, what's what's your future plans with this? Are you going online with any of this? Or are you trying to stay away from the whole computer? Actually, no. I want. I definitely want to get this going online so that people can purchase it and go global, right? And then eventually have you know, kids' toys and and that type of thing. I already have an idea for 
Um, the little, I can't remember what the heck it's called, but you, you pick it up and you put it in the different shapes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, whatever, uh, little wooden puzzles, yeah. right? So I have ideas for doing stuff like that or little stuff. I actually, um, my sewing machine broke, so I actually by hand made uh, a gibberling. Oh, it was wow. about this big. And uh, yeah, so as I made my own stuffed animal. You know they got 3D printing out for that now, right? I do know that, yeah. And I will, uh, I will get someone to make one for me. <laughs> well, that's cool. That's cool. Well, listen, you know what? Kids need this kind of stuff, and it doesn't matter how old, how young. I'm, a, I'm an old kid because <laughs> I still love this kind of stuff. I uh, wish you nothing but luck. So where again can we find these things online? Online is at gibberling.ca. So it's G-I-B-E-R-L-I-N-G dot C-A. Okay, what about your fitness stuff? Because, you know, while the kids are coloring, the parents might want to, you know, get fit or something. Well, of course. They might, <laughs> might, you know, what the heck, right? Um, yeah, through customfitness.ca. Um, I do, like I said, the in-home personal training or they come to my private studio. I do a couple of outdoor fitness classes as well. And uh, with my flipping good book, all right, uh, you flip the pages and instead of having to think of what to do, all the movements are, are there for you. So there's pushing, pulling, level change, and cardio. So everything your body needs to do, you don't have to think about it, you open it up, and that's your workout. That's awesome. That's really awesome. Yeah, so it's great. <laughs> great for people who are on the go, either they're going for business trips and they, they go to the gym, they want you know, something to do, they don't have to think about it, or you know, I even have clients that will take this to a gym and they'll just plop it down on the desk or the table, or the bench, or whatever, and do those for exercises. That's great. That's a great way of uh, remembering what you're supposed to do. I know I get to the gym a couple times and I go, what is I doing again today? Oh, yeah, shoulders. Forgot it was shoulders. Anyway, Chris, thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you very much for the opportunity.